Hi, it's Chester Toggle from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're looking at using dates within the if statement and the count if statement uh, and using dates as part of your criteria. Now, if you look at my example here, what I want to do is say evaluate my logical test whether the date in column A is less than earlier than the 7th of August 2014. Now, it looks as though it should work, but if I press return, it says new. You can see that any dates that are less than this date should return old, but it's returning new. And in fact, if I copy that down, you can see it doesn't work. Now, the reason why that's not working is because, in fact, what it's doing is it's checking to see whether A1 is less than 7 divided by 8 divided by 2014. You may know those slashes are, in fact, the division operator. Now, what you have to do is you have to control Excel into seeing, reading this as a date. Now, one way around that would to you be to use the date value um, function. Now, this is how you would use it. You'd basically say less than date value and then put your date in in quotation marks. So that would convert that text into an actual date. If I press return, you can see that it correctly evaluates that these are old dates and these are new dates, following the rule that I've set up here. Another way of doing that, if you don't want to use the date value function, I'll take out all the brackets and things, would be to say less than and then the date in quotation marks and then just put plus zero that will controlling into thinking it's a number. I'll press enter. That also works. Just copy that down just to show you that it is working. And that works as well. So you can either use date value or plus zero, which essentially makes Excel believe that this is a number, number or date. Numbers are dates or dates are numbers within Excel. So that's worked quite nicely. Now you may also want to use a date as a condition with the COUNTIFS function. Now this is slightly simpler. But what I want to do is maybe count the number of dates that are less than the 7th or, or earlier than the 7th of August 2014. So my criteria range would be this, comma, and I would say less than uh, the 7th, the 8th, 2014. Now if I press enter, it doesn't work and that's because you need to put dates within quotation marks and in fact what you may not realize is that you have to include you have to include the comparison operator within the uh, quotation marks as well don't forget that I'll press enter and it works so I've got six dates that are less than the 7th of August 2014 which is quite right. Okay, so a couple of useful tips there for you if you're working with dates as part of criteria in an if statement or a count if statement. Obviously, this would also work for some ifs. Okay, hopefully that was helpful.